Today's episode of Ham Radio 2.0 is brought to you by Arden, the Amateur Radio Emergency Data Network. The Amateur Radio Emergency Data Network is an open source project that brings emergency communications into the 21st century. With easily available commercial equipment, you can build a low-cost, high-speed network. Visit the Arden website at www.arden.org for more information. Arden branded equipment labels, embroidered patches, and apparel are available on the website by clicking on the shop menu button. There we go, Pico APRS. Pico APRS, little uh, APRS APRS tracker. So good afternoon, folks. I'm Jason, KC5HWB. Welcome to Ham Radio 2.0. This is episode 121, airing December 17th, one week before Christmas. So Merry Christmas to everyone. I can say Merry Christmas because it's my freaking show and I can say whatever I want to. <laughs> I said it on the Christmas episode last year and Frank, KG5AHJ, a, a buddy of mine, he's like, ha ha, that was funny. It's my freaking show. So thanks for watching, Frank. 73. Uh, so this is the APRS device uh, developed by Tanner Schenker. Hopefully, Tanner, hopefully I'm saying your name correctly. Uh, DB1 NTO, Delta Bravo 1 November Tango Oscar from Germany. And it is a basically a pocket-sized... You can see a picture of it on the front here. This is the instruction manual they send you with it. The picture on the front here has a little stubby antenna on top of it. I've got a Nagoya NA771 just for extended range because it's not in my pocket right now. But um, probably be carrying that with me for the next uh, little while. And it's an APRS tracker with a built-in TNC, which basically what that means is that it's standalone. So, like, you can get APRS Droid on, um, you can, there's a, there's a device called a, um, a MobiLink D that is a Bluetooth device um, that has an APRS radio in it, but it requires um, an application because it doesn't have a built-in TNC. So, you can run APRS Droid on your phone or on your tablet or maybe even on your computer and or a, SAR a program like SARTRAC on your computer and connect it to the MobiLink D and together they send APS signal over the internet from a radio transmission over the internet. Um, this device does not require any exterior interface. It transmits, it's, it has its own built-in TNC, which is a terminal node controller, which means it will transmit signal to the internet by itself. So... Uh, it's produced by a company called Wimo, W I M O, Whiskey India, MikeOscar.com. And it was a neat little device. I read about it on Facebook and I emailed the guy and I was like, hey, I'd like to talk about it on my show. So he sent me one. He sent it to me without the battery because some of these carriers, UPS, DHL, they get kind of freaky when you um, send lithium ion batteries, especially overseas shipments. So um, he's like, here, go buy a battery. Here's the exact model make and model and here's where and you can get them on ebay so i think i bought a four pack of batteries for it for like 20 bucks and um uh just put one in and it's a rechargeable battery it's got a re standard micro usb port down there at the bottom and um it's yep there it goes the beacon on there so let me zoom in i'll let you guys see what the uh so you hold down both buttons to power it both on well no not to power it off hit menu and OK. You hit menu and the first thing that comes up is power off. And then uh, you can page through that menu if you want to. Let's see if I can get this focused here. And then I hold down both buttons on the front for two or three seconds. Comes up Pico APRS. It says hello KC5HWB. Obviously I've programmed this already. So I think that might be a little bit out of focus. It's seeing my face, that's why. So Right there um, is what it looks like. Hopefully that was good enough. There it goes. So that's the screen of it. 4.2 volts, as you can see. Power off. That's powering off. The antenna I've got on it weighs more than the actual device it does it itself. So press down both buttons again. Pico a APRS version 2. Hello, KC5HWB. Main screen. And then you can go into the menu. Page through the menus. Um, that's the next button right there. Focus, focus. There's 
power off is the first option. Uh, I think that says location. No, it says last heard. <laughs> I can't read it in the camera right now. But it's got several menus going through here. Very easy to use. First time setup program is easy. Go in there and change your call sign. USB mode config. Zoom out. Uh, save home position. Wait for GPS. Next. High power, one watt. Yeah, it's a one watt transmitter. So that's kind of one watt out of that. I was thinking that it would be like five, six, seven hundred milliwatts. You know, kind of like a um, um, mesh radio. Send APRS to five to. Oh no. Cancel. But kind of a neat. If you're into APRS and you're in a yeah uh yeah that's fine. Um, if you're in a there we go. <laughs> GPS data. <laughs> if you're in a location with a lot of eye gates, um, internet act uh, connections and whatnot. So I know a couple of truck drivers who run an eye gate mobile from their trucks that they drive around. They connect a Raspberry Pi to their mobile hotspot and they configure it so that when it receives an APRS signal, it, it listens. It's connected to a radio, obviously. A Raspberry Pi connected to a radio listening for an APRS signal. When it's received it, it transmits it over the internet through the software that's running on the Raspberry Pi, which is connected to the internet via their Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile hotspot, something like that. So it makes for a cool... And that's all an eye gate is. If you see these... If you go to APRS.fi with Google Chrome and you look around, you see these eye gates and these hubs at these different locations that people have set up, maybe on a tower up high somewhere, so it's, so it's listening for a big... It's got a big footprint that it listens to. It's taking that signal and transmitting that signal uh, data data packets over the internet, so that that's how you get it on the internet and and can track it on APRS.fi and other tracking software, APRS Droid, that, that kind of stuff. That's a very overview, very down and dirty overview of what APRS does. It says, "Oh, hey, I see a radio, a radio position right here," and it puts it on the map on APRS.fi on the internet, so that it can track you. It's called an automatic position reporting system. APRS. So, never really done an APRS video on this show. Something I want to probably do. I might try to catch a couple of the forums at Orlando at Dayton or Dayton this year. And uh, uh, Kale Nelson uh, from Ham Radio 360. I had him on the show a couple weeks ago. He said that that was one of his most popular shows was his APRS show. And he can't show you stuff. He's not a video show. He's just an audio podcast. Really great audio podcast. If you guys like to listen to audio stuff while you're driving to work or while you're on a plane, that's what I do. I listen to podcasts when I'm on a plane. And um, really great uh, audio podcast for Ham Radio at hamradio360.com. So, um, this is the Pico APRS. Special thanks to Tanner for sending me this radio. I sent him an email and said, hey, I'd like to feature this on my show. So he sent it to me, and minus the battery. I think I mentioned that a minute ago. But uh, really cool site. He, uh, you can order them from Wemo.com, and he said that uh, HRO should be carrying these soon. I haven't looked on the HRO website in the last little bit to see if they've listed them yet, but I think that they're going to start carrying these. I, they're not very expensive. They're less than $100. I don't remember exactly how much they were right now. But, um, you know, if you're... if this is a cool thing to have if you're some, at some something like a big ham fest like Orlando or Hamcation. They've got multiple APRS stations listing over there. Uh, Hamcom and Hamcom. I've showed a picture in uh, my Hamcom video that I did last year of all the APRS stations just kind of converging on one spot. <laughs> kind of looked like a big freaking glob of APRS stations on the map. And uh, you got something like this in your pocket, then you can run an actual radio transmitted APRS signal rather than running it over your smartphone through APRS Droid that just does it over the internet. So, kind of a neat little device. So, hey guys, thanks for watching. This was just a short episode to introduce you to APRS.5. There'll be a, or uh, Pico APRS, I should say. There'll be a link from this blog post at hamradio2.com, live from the hamshack.tv, same website. Episode 121, go down there. You'll be able to watch this video from there. You'll be able to look at links back to the APRS, the Pico APRS device and what it and read up on on about it and if i can find the link on hro hro's website i'll put that down there also so you can go out there and 
do a purchase of it if uh, something like that interests you. So uh, once again, this episode is airing on December 17th, Monday before Christmas. Next Monday will be Christmas Day, December 25th. I will not have an episode um, posted that day. So I'm going to skip that week. I'll be with family that day, obvious reasons. And uh, I won't uh, be posting a, a video episode that day. But the following week, which is also, as you know, January 1st, because January 1st is always on the same day of the week as December 25th. Um, the following week will be New Year's Day, and I will be posting an episode that day. So I'll be talking about some new stuff I want to do with the show in 2018, kind of my outlook, my vision, where I'm going, um, some new stuff that I've come across, and um, uh, just kind of like where Ham Radio 2.0 is headed for its third year, which I will be celebrating my three-year anniversary on May 2nd of 2018, and um, look forward to doing some giveaways around that time, and prior to that, when I break 10,000 subscribers, which will probably be February, March, somewhere in there, I'll do another giveaway at that point in time also. At the time of this recording, there are, and I'll tell you what, I just... I don't have my screen hooked up to the um, camera right now, but I can pull up my YouTube page. I know I've got over 8,900. I have not broke 9,000 yet. Getting close, though. Getting close. Oh, here it is. Boom. Eighty-nine thirty-seven at the time of this recording. So by the time this video airs, it'll probably be 10 or 20 or 30 higher than that. And then by the time uh, the first of the year gets here, we might, I might break 9,000 by the, f well, I should break 9,000 by the time, because I've been getting 100-ish, 100, 120 new subscribers a week for the past several months. So it's been pretty good. And it seems like it's kind of a snowball effect. The more subscribers I get, the more people that watch it. I put up a new video. It gets more hits in the first few days than a video I put up three months ago or three months before that or three months before that. So it's kind of a increasing cycle. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to want, I'm going to be reaching out to some new companies, uh, new people to interview, new this, that, and the other. I'll talk about that next week on the New Year's Eve episode. So... Um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, appreciate all the good support I've received uh, via email and via the website and via the YouTube channel over the next, um, over the last few months or whatever it was. So, 73. Once again, Merry Christmas. This is Ham Radio 2.0. I'm Jason KC5 HWB, and we'll see you on January 1st, 2018. This has been Ham Radio 2.0, a YouTube production by KC5HWB. Visit our website at www.livefromthehamshack.tv. Please also stop by our Facebook page at fb.me slash hamradio2. Be sure and subscribe here on YouTube to keep up with all the new videos that are posted nearly every Monday. 73s everyone and thanks for watching.